The Great American Read. Milwaukee PBS viewers talk about their favorite books. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, I think it just mixes horror and science fiction. And when I thought about it, I loved that question about should we make things or do things or create things just because we can? And then what are the consequences of that? Hitchhiker's Guide was my favorite um, science fiction book. There's a number of science fiction books on the list, but that was mine because it was a lot of fantasy and humor and just hilarious. I would laugh and laugh and laugh every day reading it, the whole series. Where the Red Fern Grows is my choice. Very hard to make a choice. How do you find a good book? But of the list, I did pick Where the Red Fern Grows. I read it with my children when they were reading books. So when they were doing chapter books, I did lots of chapter books. So it came out after I was a girl reading chapter books. But I like the area and that I'm, uh, you know, he was a poor boy from the mountains, from the, from the Blue Ridge Mountains, and lived humbly. Well, this is a personal favorite, and it's Little Women, and it's because of the effect it had on my life when I read it. You know, I grew up in an era where there weren't a lot of things for girls, and this were a group of strong young women, especially Jo, who we all love the best, because she was the most independent, and that gave me the pressure, the idea of moving on and doing what was important to me which was a really important thing to have in the late 50s and early 60s. My favorite book is um, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. And it's my favorite book because it's the first series that I actually learned to read when I was younger. When I was younger, we started off with different phrases that we needed to learn, like basic phrases like, hello, my name is blank. And um, yeah, that's about it. And then we moved on to reading um, paragraphs and then we moved on to reading chapters and then we tried reading our own books on our own. To Kill a Mockingbird, um, I think it is possibly the quintessential American novel. I think it deals with issues of race but it deals more importantly with issues of integrity, with, with doing what is right even in the face of everyone else tell you, telling you differently. Doing what's right even when you think it will cost you dearly when it might cost you friends, your career, your children. Um, teaching by example, not just telling your children what to do, but doing what you say so that they really learn the lesson. Uh, my favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. It's just like, the, it's one of those books that just makes you so happy. And you, you, leave, you read it and you just feel happy at the end and you smile and everything ends up well and Mr. Darcy is kind of my soulmate, so that helps. <laughs> I'm settling on Color Purple. One, it is a spectacular piece of literature and it's the relationship that I have with that book. So around that time that the book came out, or my, I was at an age, I was early middle school, and I was reading everything that my mother read. And Color Purple was one of these books that she read, and it was enormous, and it had a thousand pages, it seemed to be. But she read it, and I was already on a roll of really enjoying, one, the fact that I could read her books, and she had a great taste in books, so I knew I wasn't gonna be disappointed. So one, I enjoyed the story, and it was definitely, it did everything a book's supposed to do. It swept me away, it informed me of things that I knew and didn't know, it made me feel um, for people that I couldn't have imagined I would have had empathy for, all the things that a great story will do. To learn more about The Great American Read, visit milwaukeepbs.org.